Hi there, I'm Melle from runningexpert.com and I'm here with my great, great colleague, Emil. Thank you. I would like to talk to all people in the office about which three shoes they use right now in their rotation. So, Emil, I would like to talk to you about which three shoes you love the most right now. Which shoe should we start with? This is the three shoes you run in right now. Yes. Yes. Most. Most, in yeah. Right now. Yeah. So which uh, shoe should we start out with? I think we should start from my left with yeah. the Essex Nova Blast 3. Uh, like I said in my re review, this is just a very, very brilliant shoe. It's uh, lightweight, can do for both uh, easy daily miles or you can pick up the pace. You can do a lot of things in it. And it's just, I, I, I like it so much. And why, why is this just a go-to shoe for you? Um, it's the combination of the lightweight yeah. and, the, and the foam, um, which just give, gives me an effortless feeling when I'm running. Mm. Um, and it, it just, uh, it goes nice with my stride and it just, it feels <laughs> very, very nice to run in it because, because of the lightweight and, and the comfort that it brings, um, which I find very unique that mm. you can get uh, so lightweight but mm. still with so much comfort. Yeah. I know that you love the Nova Blast 2 as well. Yes. Do you love the Nova Blast 3 even more? Or do you miss the Nova Blast 2? Uh, I still have a pair of Nova Blast 2 and I haven't been using them since I got the 3. Okay. Um, it looks quite spectacular. Yeah. Um, they, they changed a bit on the heel. Yeah. Um, I, I can actually take it out. I don't know if that's... Yeah, it's, it's totally okay. Uh, this is the Nova Blast 2. And um, as you can see, I used that a lot as well. Uh, but they, they changed the pattern quite a lot um, and they, they made it uh, broader. But it is, it is the same phone, it is the Nova uh, so no, the Flight Phone Blast? No, it's not, it's not the same phone. Oh, this is this the Plus. Is FF Blast Plus yes. and this is FF Blast. So that's why they've been able to put in more foam and make the shoe lighter. Mm. Uh, yeah, because in, this in is... In the Nova Blast 3 yeah. than they did in the Nova Blast 2. Cool, Emil. The okay. next shoe is the Saucony Triumph. 20. 20. Yes, exactly. Very, very, very beautiful shoe, if yes. you ask me. I think it's uh, so nice. A little bit retro. retro, retro. Yes, yes. Uh, it's a new shoe in my rotation, um, but I, I found that I've used it quite a lot. Um, it's some of the same things that I like in the Nova Blast, mm. but it's uh, it's a bit heavier, so, so more for my recovery runs or my yeah. easier than, than the Nova Blast. Um, so when you when you want to uh, pick out a, a shoe from your uh, from your shoe cabinet, yes, do you call it that? Um, and you don't, you know, I'm not gonna run any tempo or any strides or anything today. I just want a smooth, slow run. I could run strides in it. Okay. In it, but but it's it's for the for the easier runs. Yeah, I see here. Me. Yeah. You, you, I mean, some people uh, might use it for tempo because it, it has a bit of a snappy feeling, even though it's very, very comfortable. Uh, it, the foam and the speed roll technology that they put in it mm -hmm. makes it, uh, makes it a bit more snappy than, than some of the others. They normally use uh, Power Run or Power, Power Run, Run PB, PB. Yeah. but this is Power Run PB-ish, but it's more for, uh, for a daily trainer. Okay. Uh, it, yeah. it has some of the same feeling, but it's... Uh, it's a bit more with the focus on comfort and mm. uh, durability. Okay. Um, so, so it, it has the the feeling of um, of comfort, mm. but but um, but it's not as um, you cannot squeeze it uh, no. as much together. So no. it gives you a, a, a more uh, snappy feeling. Uh, the last shoe in the, your rotation right now, Emil, the uh, Leaning Fadian Challenger. This is. Um, this is the Leaning's uh, tempo shoe number one. It's it's a mixture between a tempo shoe and a race day shoe, and uh, right now I'm training for a marathon, mm. so I'm running a lot of uh, faster kilometers, and uh, a lot of them has been in in the Leaning Challenger. This is a colorway that we don't have anymore, but it's just I like this shoe so much, and uh, I've been running a lot of uh, kilometers, uh, miles in this shoe. <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> and, uh, and, and even though I'm at uh, approximately 800 kilometers in this shoe, yeah. uh, I still use it, uh, and I still find it uh, very, very nice. And that's 
quite uh, impressive that, for quite a shoot with a carbon plate, uh, carbon fiber plate in it. Exactly, and uh, PBAX foam and yeah. everything, uh, and it's quite unique that I run that many uh, kilometers in in a shoe because I test so many shoes. Uh, mm. It's this shoe and the Nova Blast Two mm. um, are the ones that come in mind that that I've just used that much. Okay. Um, so this is when you want to get the race feeling in your uh, tempo runs. Uh, exactly. And you don't need, yeah, you need comfort, but not that much. You, the, the focus is on tempo. Yes. The, it's, it's to give me a, a race day feeling without bringing the, the extra heat. Yeah. Uh, so to sum up, the Asix Nova Blast uh, 3, the Sukoni Triumph 20, and the uh, Li Ning Fadian Challenger. Okay. And what they all have in common is as I see, the lightweight. Yeah, the lightweight and, and the comfort. Yeah, and uh, the comfort. That's, yeah. uh, that's, my, uh, that's what I look for in the shoe. So cool, Mir. Thank you so much. Um, and uh, good luck with your uh, marathon PB attempt. Thank you. At least I get a lot of good training. You do, a lot of kilometers. And if you want to buy this shoe, we sell them all. The Lining, not in that colorway, but in another colorway. Uh, we sell them all on our website, runningexpert.com. Go find it there, or I will put links in the description as well if you uh, are curious to see more about these shoes. Run good!